Have you ever used Wall before? I have, but like the Walmart versions. Yes. I'm an Andis man, bro. Shout out to Andis. Whoa. Oh yeah. Shout out to Andis. Shout bro. out to Andis. Where's, where's your Where's your Andis, bro? We got Andis right here. Y'all see that? These are old though. How old are these? No, I just got them. Oh, these are the new ones. I broke, I broke the ones. Oh, the old ones? Oh I man. I kept the body though. I'll never let it go. Nah, that's a legendary clipper. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's your boy Nick Wavy. I'm back with a new video. I'm with the Big Dog solo cuts. What's going yes, on? Yes, what up, YouTube? Here we got the canvas right here, and I'm about to. All right, y'all. So my boy Solo said he needed a cut. I haven't given a cut in maybe like two weeks, but I'm not even nervous anymore. Like I feel like I've cut, you know, not enough, you know, but enough to the point where I feel comfortable doing it. So, what type of cut are you looking for, Solo? Um, to be honest. I'm gonna leave the length all around. Yeah. But I just want to taper this like a bald taper. Yeah, come look at the taper here. And you can already see how where it was before. Yeah, basically. So I'm gonna leave it I here. I just want my lineup mm -hmm. to show like in this area, but everything down here we can just. Okay. Gone. You'll have to guide me through that. So I'll give you what you want. You know. Same thing. Just the same thing there. Zoom, and then. Okay. Now you have the little. Want me to use one of these? Of course. Yes, please. All right. So. So you go like this first. You don't gotta do it too tight. No, you can extend it a bit, but it's all good. So how do you tie it, or do you just? So what I do is I give it a little stretch first. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a bit. That's a lot. Of, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Now, yeah, and then just yeah. something like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Some people like to like tie it in a knot. I'm not a big fan of that. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get ready, bro. You know? Just gotta start getting comfortable cutting here. Yeah, just pull it down. Alright. <laughs> nice. Neat. You want it bald. So I usually use this to bald it and then use the ostrich. And oh, you have ostrich, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll just work my way up. So, how bald do you want it? I want the bald to at least come up to here. Okay. Actually, we'll keep it a little lower. Yeah. Just like give you some room. And I'll start from here? Mm -hmm. you Whatever you think, brother. Uh, Whatever you think. I think you know what I'm looking for. Okay. One thing I always say though, especially with tapering me, yeah. if you say you set this line, mm -hmm. you set the same line on this side. Okay, so, so, you you don't lose, that. so you don't lose it. So just by the ear. So what Solo taught me is when you're doing the tapers, you want to use the corners. You don't want to go with the whole edge. So here you could be precise. And I'm just flicking up. I'm being careful, of course. And then I'll work my way up. But what you like to do is you like to work your way down, right? Yeah. Yeah, you like to work your way down, which is something I'm going to need to... Like if I'm if I've cut someone long enough and like I'm trying to really get it done in uh, like a, a timely manner, mm -hmm. I'll do like just from the bottom up. Usually when I'm in my workflow, you know, like I I do bottom up. Mm -hmm. But I recommend everybody that's learning is still trying to master the craft. Start from the top down. I need to get ready in case Solo opens up a shop one day. I might need to step up as a barber. I don't know. So take a look and you tell me what I need to, you know, that's just a basic, mm -hmm. you know. I think we just gotta work the no guard mm -hmm. right around here. So try open, mm -hmm. 
but then close it just a little bit like just a baby yeah, flick yeah yeah and just work this area just a little more other than that it's perfect all right Do you got any earrings that you don't want? I lost my earrings, bro. You have no earrings or right no? None, bro. Wowzers. I have like some diamond ones, but they're so old, bro, and they're silver. There's diamonds, but they're silver, so the body started to turn green. Yikes. Trust me, those are retired. Silver turns green? Like if it gets hit with water or... Yikes. Dude, we didn't even explain to anybody what I'm, where I am or nothing, eh? What do you mean? Like right like, now? Yeah, like in, the, in our last video. Yeah. Alright, so explain to them. All of a sudden, we're just in this like, <laughs> place with torn down walls because and elevator. Because you, you were being politically correct, bro. You didn't want to give out any any juice. Oh, I'm not going to give the people the juice. Yeah. I'm just going to tell them, like... Y'all listening? I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the camera while <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I just gotta give him the cut eye, solo bro. Cut. <laughs> solo cuts is officially an independent entity. Yes. We're on our own right now. Yes. Um, renting out a space here uh, until we open up the barbershop. So, if you guys were wondering why I'm in a spot that has an elevator, oh, show them the walls. Like the walls are done. Like oh, last done yeah, last nice. video, walls were like mashed up. We'll keep um, oh, and that's a that's a that's a soundproof room. That's a that's gonna be a little studio. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Do you like it here? Uh, you like yeah, being on your own as a barber? I like it. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning all the all the little things that a barber needs. Um, things that you know a barber shop sometimes will supply for you. Mm -hmm. Things that you kind of take for granted. Like what? Um, just the small stuff, man. Like even just barber side, your alcohols, your your blades, your neck strips. When you're in a barber shop, all that stuff is just there waiting for you. you know? mm -hmm. you're not sure on your own, you need to provide that yourself. Yeah, and like when I leave the shop, like my mind doesn't just stop. It's like it's not like I can just check out and say, you know what, work's done. I can go mm -hmm. home and sleep or do whatever I want. When I leave the shop, I think about, well, I have to check like what 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 do I need to do on my off days to make sure I have all my supplies, you know. Mm -hmm. And then there's the whole the the search for a barber shop you know that's a whole nother a whole nother game so a lot a lot on the plate a lot on my plate but it's never gonna stop bro you always have work to do as an entrepreneur yes and as a boss yeah like but I, I can still see um let me come over here like right here and yeah. maybe blend that down with the thing like is that's always been a problem area yeah if you want to just lighten this yeah mm -hmm. with like a one that'd be great but this right here, this is perfect. Like okay. Everything here, it just needs to. You see how like it's like a. E, yeah. But this needs to be really So light. you want me to blend the U? No, the U is perfect. Oh, it's good. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I just want to continue the U all the way. Okay. Because this is just a little dark. Okay, so let me hit that right here. You see that? Yeah, right here. Yeah. What was the response you got for the bald fade? People, Yo, people, people were feeling it, bro. Like, I think it was a better look, personally. Annie, what do you think? I liked it better. Yeah, I liked it better. But you know, people are not gonna let me live, bro. <laughs> They're gonna be on my case, even though it's just like a better look, personally. Like, I just find it looks way better. What do you think, no? That's perfect. Better? Yeah. Next perfect. side? Yeah. Did I go bald the same size? Uh, I can maybe go bald a bit higher, but I'll hit that with a zero. So when you're giving someone a haircut with a receding hairline, what measures do you take to prevent, you know? What are you trying to say, I'm bro? not trying to say that what you have one. What are you trying one. to say, bro? I'm not trying to say at that you me. have one. Just <laughs> at me. I'm not adding you, bro. I'm just saying, like, what measures do you take to, you know, because I just went here with a two, but I know, like, here, that's your weak spot. Mm -hmm. So I know I have to be careful when I touch that. So it's basically just so going with the grain. I think might be done a, here actually. Doing a whole level. Is there anything it's, I need to fix? It's good. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, doing maybe like a level higher in the weak areas. Yeah. So that the hair is just a little longer. Um, things 
like that. Try not to worry about lining it up and being too sharp with it. Mm -hmm. And just bring it forward. Because sometimes people with receding hairlines don't even try to make it look proper. Yeah. They they just let it expose. But like comb it forward. Show them how to comb their hair, how to style it up. Mm -hmm. So that it looks as full as possible, you know? You want a neck taper, right? Yes, please. And let me sit up here. Yeah. This chair is probably the greatest kind of over as a uh, Yeah, best cop. Best cop. Let me squeeze over here. It's literally the steel of a, of a century. That I've learned from. Okay. Yo, are you ever going to make a YouTube channel, bro? For sure. I will. It's just I need to learn how to manage everything first. Mm hmm. So I got my one guard, I'm going even higher, and I'm flicking out. And that's where I usually stop, and then I start blending. Like this. And I bet you, you have like your wrist motion like in foot, like a baller, bro. You know how ballers when they shoot? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you got your wrist. Yeah, for sure. So it's all in the, would you say it's all in the wrist? A lot of it is, 100%. I like what I see, brother. Okay. So when you do your lineups, you see how I'm just hitting it? Mm -hmm. Do you usually go in one smooth motion and then clean it? Or do you tap at it and... Uh, I'll show you kind of what I do. Like, I usually come, mm -hmm. I go bang, bang, bang. Mm -hmm. And then I get into the, the groove of just... Okay, mm, curving it in. Mm, and then coming here, mm -hmm. and then closing it in. Okay. Like just, yeah, but... It's just it's about getting like a good rhythm and know, knowing how you want the line to look, you know? So do you normally rest your hand on the person's face and hit a it? A finger. A finger. I, us I usually put my middle finger like. on the, yeah, pretty much. Wait, how do you do that? Like this? Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. like a balance. So here's what it looks like before. Hopefully it comes out good, bro. I got my one finger here. And I'm working the edge. Not bad, I can't even lie. There we go. Now work our way up. What do you think? Looks good. Guess like, and then you don't want me to touch this side. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look. And that's perfect. So I don't do much. Nah, that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, and I gotta taper the back or line the back. Mm -hmm. the, the back, I like it short. 
Harp. Sharp, you're coming down sharp. Yeah, you can just. I do this. I mm -hmm. put my pinky right here. That's my stabilizer. Mm -hmm. Put my thumb right at the bottom of the blade. Right? When you're cutting, you never want to come this way. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Yeah. It's obvious. As obvious as it sounds, you might want to. You also don't want to poke. Mm -hmm. You don't want to poke. If you're going to use the blade, you're going to have to use at least a quarter of it. Okay. At least. You never really want to put the whole blade flush and unless you're shaving the whole beard off. Mm -hmm. So when you have my head back, mm -hmm. you're gonna have the tool like this. You're gonna stretch my skin down, mm -hmm. come Swipe over here and go. By a quarter. So you kind of just start with, use like, focus on this much. Mm -hmm. Make sure that whole blade is flush mm -hmm. on my skin, 45 degree angle. You don't want to be up here. You want to be down here and then go. Okay. And then when you're over here, it's gonna be, you might be holding it a little different. We just need to come bang, 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 bang. Just like that. But you want to stretch the skin with the other hand. Like stretch this? it down. Down? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like that? Mm -hmm. Does it hurt? No. The only way it'll hurt is if you slice or if you poke me with the corner. So then on the back side, I kind of want to use the bottom piece so I could angle it like this, or should I still use the top of the blade? I would use the top. You can the use top. whichever one you're more comfortable with, but I'm thinking the front. The front, okay. Yeah, the top part. So stretch out the skin. And then use only a quarter, okay. Once you get towards the bottom of the curve, mm -hmm. you can use the back. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard from this angle. I think I'm going to leave that. Okay. It's bald down there anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so did you get the corner though, the top? Of here? Yeah. Let's like, see. look at the baby hairs right by the line of and get rid of them. Okay. Gone? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That's it. Okay, let me do the other side. Let me get this <laughs> on IG. <laughs> <laughs> My sister is a girl barber. What? Yeah. How come you never mentioned this before? She's a hairstylist, but she does like Let me get some of this cream. haircuts on guys too, and like beards with the razor. Where does she work? She works at State Hair. You said alcohol with alcohol. the strip? Yeah. Is that the blue or white green bottle? The green bottle. So I just get it like this and just. Yeah. How many shots? Three? Four? Okay, maybe a little more. And then everywhere you line me up. So mm, that's not good. I lined you up here. Is this just a dab? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Burns? No. Nope. Okay, get behind the ears. Get behind the ears. My liners are not too sharp. They're actually yeah. at, like at their prime right now. They're beautiful. N Nick was like, "Oh, when you put the alcohol." <laughs> yeah, because his the oh yeah. Yeah, strong. yeah, yeah. Okay, and then the sheen, the olive oil sheen. Give mm -hmm. it a shake. Take mm -hmm. his headrest off. We don't want oil getting on it. So you just don't put it on its head down. Yeah, it balances like that. And it. All right, I need to record this one with the with the machine. Yeah. Cover my face. Ready? Yeah. 
you, sir. You're looking fresh, bro. Honestly. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Honestly, you. you're looking fresh, bro. I appreciate it. <laughs> Yo, if you ever open up a shop and you need a barber, I'm interested. Bro. Honestly, you know? Just let me know. I'm willing to practice. You can skip the apprentice program. That's for sure. Let's this get straight fire. into it. That's okay. fine. Thank you, bro. No problem, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Solo cuts got a cut by Nick Wavy. <laughs> and it's fresh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, that's proper. Hey, y'all, so post in the comments what you guys think about the cut. It was a learning experience for me. I hope it was a learning experience for you. Um, if you guys seen any mistakes in the cut, post in the comment section down below. If you seen any good things, post in the comment section down below. Make sure y'all subscribe. Hit Solo up on Instagram. Shoot, shoot the camera to some. Hey, there we go. Hey, make sure y'all follow Solo on Instagram. <laughs> me on Instagram. Links are in the description down below. I'll we'll catch y'all on the next one. Oh, I need to get a cut. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Video, this is just... Part one. Like, yeah, we're just cutting part for one. now. He's about to get a quick. Yeah, that's part two, y'all. So make sure y'all subscribe and turn on notifications. We'll catch you on the next one.